with Oaks, Kentucky Oaks winning trainer, Brendan Walsh. You have pretty mischievous going today in the egg corn. How'd the horse come out of the last race? Very good, yeah. Yeah, we've been very pleased with her since. Um, you know, she hasn't really missed a beat. Um, her work's been very good. Uh, you know, everything's gone according to plan, so here we are. In terms of training on this track, how's the horse come to? I mean, it is a deeper track than, than Kentucky. Yeah, she. We, we did actually bring her up uh, 10 or 11 days before the race, uh, you know, because we wanted to give her a little piece of work on it as well, just to get a feel of it, which I think always helps. But she, she worked very well on it the other day, so she gives me the impression that she, she has no problem with it whatsoever. In terms of this race, it seems like there's a lot of pace. Is this going to play into the setup? Yeah, I, I think it'll be fine for her. Um, you know, she she uh, she would appreciate it. She's got a very high cruising speed herself, so I think the more speed and pace that's in there, the better for her. Last question for you: Your relationship with Tyler Gaffleon, it was huge. He uh, it was ear to ear winning the Oaks. He said it was a, a game changer that he never thought he'd get to. What is that relationship like working with Tyler? That's fantastic. He's a, he's a great. Uh, a great guy, Tyler. You know, he's a fantastic rider, and he's he's just a, a good person, and, and he's been a big part of our team. We, we really, really, you know, he's such a skilled rider, and and his his uh, feedback after races and after works are are invaluable. So it's it's just fantastic to have somebody like that. Best of luck today, Nacon. Thank you very much.